My girlfriend confessed she cheated on me. I don't know what to feel. Hello. I'm in a bit of a dire situation. My girlfriend of five years just confessed she cheated on me two days ago. She randomly showed up to my place saying we need to talk and started explaining to me what happened. She went to a party, was peer pressured into drinking a lot, a guy brought her home and apparently they had sx. I feel extremely bad and at the same time don't know what to think. I intensely love her, I always thought this would never happen, and yet it did. I love her and don't want to lose her. She promises that it's a heavy mistake, she hates herself and doesn't want to wreck the relationship we have. I never had to deal with this or these feelings. I don't feel hate at all. Sadness and disappointment more like. Do you think our relationship can survive this or is it doomed? I'm sorry but I really need your help. Thank you a lot. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, I mean whether your relationship survives is up to you, but in my opinion it will never be the same as it once was. Redditor 2, you will never able to trust her fully again. Let's say you forgive her. Time pass and she wants to go out to a bar with her friends. The moment she says that she want to go out this memory of her infidelity will come out and it will bother you. If you don't let her go you will be a controlling boyfriend if you do let her go this thought of cheating will always bother you. How can you trust her that she won't do it again? You can't. I would end this relationship and give myself 6-7 months to heal. You should do the same. Ready to follow up, like you said, it will never be the same, and for me, going to someone home after a party and accidentally have s time is bs, she knew what she was going to do. Think what you gain by staying with her, and what she gain by staying with you. Ready to 3, it was not a mistake, it was a series of choices. She is blaming her friends, the alcohol and the guy, she is not taking any responsibility of this. All of these are red flags and if you forgive her you should be ready for it to happen again. Ready to follow up, this. It's not one mistake. It's a series of mistakes. The going to the party. The drinking too much if that even happened the flirting back with the guy. Agreeing to go home with him. Getting in the car. Getting out. Going in his house. Going to his room. Taking off her clothes etc etc there's 100 mistakes in a row here. It's not just one. Story 2, I cheated on my wife and I'm nervous, don't know how to proceed. This is my first time posting here. I heard of this site before but don't know how this works. I don't want to give out too much information in case others or even her might be users here. Nowadays it's a small world. I'm nervous and just had a bad argument again my guilt is killing me so if any of you can be helpful I'd gladly appreciate it. I'm not even at home now. I'm using my cousin's PC. I cheated on my wife nearly four months ago with a co-worker at my job. That was the first time I've ever slept with another woman besides my wife. I was a shy virgin when my wife met me in college long ago. She's suspecting it by now, asked questions about my recent changes and I don't know how to come forward with it. In my attempts to escape from getting caught, I tend to drink some days to relieve me of my guilt or verbally lashed out at her by using her only single weakness as an argument. I know what's it like being cheated on. I've been there once but that's an ancient story I don't care to share and it brings bad memories. My main concern is that now I'm officially a cheater, what I hated becoming. I just ended my affair last week but I'm scared of getting find out, exposed, etc. I think I'm making it very obvious because I suck at lying and tend to get upset if I'm cornered.
I would like to know how to proceed to this. I believe confessing is the right thing. Anyone. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, tell your wife. She deserves to know. Also, on behalf of your wife, duck you. Redditor 2, so wait if I'm reading this correctly. You cheated four months ago but just barely ended the affair a week ago. Redditor follow up, right. That one tripped me up too. He's still trying to cover his ass by making it sound like a one night stand and he messed up. But it's been an ongoing affair for months. Redditor 3, you have ducked your marriage into oblivion. The odds of salvaging this is really slim because your wife suspects. The suspicion she has is already enough to destroy her trust in you and if you do nothing, you're going to be divorced soon. It's just a matter of time before she gets the truth and you're no 007 secret agent, you've left a trail a mile wide and sooner or later she will follow it. Your best bet is to admit to it all as soon as possible and throw yourself on the mercy of the courts. Don't trickle truth her. Don't shift the blame. Don't be manipulative. Do admit how awful you are for what you did. Do apologize and tell her you'll do anything you can to make it up to her. Maybe it will be enough. Probably not tough. Yes, your marriage is probably over. You ducked it up. Own that you are a duck up. No matter what, start by looking for a new job and cut all contact with the other person. Story 3, I 26M suspect that my 23F has been cheating on me. My GF and I have been together for three years as of last month and I really care about her. We are both employed full time, but work on opposite sides of our city. She works in a pharmacy and does some pretty rough hours, it was really hard for her to find a job around the time she was looking so we were both overjoyed when she got hired. So to cut to the chase almost a year and a half later I've heard all the stories from her workplace and the people she works with in particular there's this one guy that works at the back of the shop we will call him Dan. I know my GF and Dan had talked here and there, I considered it sort of normal at the time that workmates might stay in contact to discuss work or work gatherings outside of work hours. Fast forward to this week and during a regular night with my GF I get the urge to check her phone, not my proudest moment but I'll be the first to admit I do have an insecurity complex I guess. After checking some stuff here and there I come across the messages between my GF and Dan. To my shock I find them talking a lot, during all hours of the day and to what I suspected when she wasn't talking to me. The things they were talking about sort of bothered me also, there's a bit of a housing crisis around where we live ATM and they were talking about living together, she was excited he was going to let her drive his precious at and we're open enough to discuss SX. Naturally I'm thinking the worst but we eventually talk and she convinces me it's nothing. Fast forward to tonight she is going to a work dinner and you guessed it Dan's going too. I'm not as apprehensive I feel fine but as the night progresses she send me a pic of the table and what do you know Dan and her are seated right next to each other I still don't see that as that large of a problem until I stated getting this uneasy feeling a few hours later. For context we both are able to see our locations on the app find my iPhone but when I go to check and for the next hour later her location is completely dead which is super weird considering the only time this usually happens is around her workplace where the area is pretty dodgy. So a few minutes later I finally receive a message from her and what a coincidence her location is finally working again, almost as if it was turned off and on again. I ask where she has been and she tells me that she just dropped off her best friend from work home and then went back to Dan's home to use the bathroom. I obviously argued with her over all this and she assures me it's just a huge misunderstanding and that she would never do that since someone cheated on her once, 
I'm really wishing that it could be that simple but I just feel like s it and preparing for the worst. Story 4, my girlfriend 24f is upset that I 25 meters have tattoos of my female friend. For this post I'll call my friend Julia. She passed away 5 years ago. She was my first and best friend growing up. Our families are close, so we have been friends, since we were babies. There was no romantic feelings every. Just a best friend sister. We were big fans of pop, punk alt emo music. Specifically this band called The Wonder Years. The last album she was alive to hear was their No Closer to Heaven album and we both we no saviors if we can't save our brothers tattooed on us which is a line said on a couple songs throughout the album. She died from a car accident. Saddest moment in my life was hearing that news. I have a lot of tattoos on both of my arms and back. I got her name tattooed with a heart around it and a date. That band has released two albums since Julia's death and I have gotten lyrics that I feel like she would like the most tattooed. I've been dating my current girlfriend for the last two years and it's great. I love her a lot. We really work as a couple. She asked me why I have a Julia with a heart tattooed on me and I understand why that would be off-putting. Like if she had Steve in a heart I would be curious as well. I told her about it and she thought it was sweet but over time I can tell whenever I take off my shirt and she sees that Julia tattoo it irks her. Last week the Wonder Years released a new album, and I got you're the reason I won't want the world to end tattooed. She asked me about it and I told her about how I have gotten a tattoo for every album they have released since Julia's death. This got her really upset that I am getting cute lyrics tattooed for another woman. I told her that she was just my friend but she is upset. The other lyric I have from the album before this is from the ground we look like lighting. She seems really put off by this and I don't know how to explain. Anytime I tell her about how deep our friendship was she gets more upset. I want to mend this problem but it also has me worried about future relationships now. Is this going to be a deal breaker in the future? Julia, was my best friend and it was never romantic. She would make handcrafted necklaces and jewelry and I have one of them hanging from my mirror in my car and I don't think that is weird. My girlfriend is very understanding usually so her reacting this way is new to me. It's making me wonder if doing this is a bad thing. Edit I have a lot of tattoos and tattoos for other friends that passed away as well and just general tattoos. My back and arms are covered. Edit 2 I have a similar tattoo tradition with a male friend that overdosed in high school. Redditor's reactions update after. Redditor 1, sometimes we need to look for our people. In some circles, that means finding people that enjoy similar pastimes as our own, so that we can be best friends as well as partners. Some people it means harboring a certain amount of jealousy, so that the other person consistently feels wanted. Some people it means having a respect for that which happened to build us up. You fit here. Some people it means putting the past behind in order to look forward together. Your girlfriend fits here. Your girlfriend thought your initial tattoo was fine. What she's worried about is that you'll never move past those feelings. To her, the memory is keeping you from looking forward. For you, it's about keeping memories alive so they never leave you as you move on. It's two different ways at looking at what the past can do to a person. Will there be people where this is a deal breaker? Look at the comments. Obviously so. Would it be a deal breaker to me or the people in my life? Absolutely not. We all stand on our experiences to take the next steps of life. But if you want to keep working on things with your girlfriend, 
you'll have to reconcile the two different ways that you look at the pass. And that's some hard therapy work. Good luck. Op answer, this isn't responding to the comment. Leaving it here because it's top comment so people will see. Didn't expect this to blow up, but I'm going to leave this here for exposure. I sound defensive because to me most of you sound like yellow yeah, lol you've suffered numerous traumatic losses in your life but who cares literally saw a comment saying I need to find another messed up tattooed girl to be with. The Wonder Years is the most relatable band to me because they focus on lose of friends and general anxiety of bad things happening again. Julia loved the band with me and sadly I lost her. I will never feel bad or weird for wanting to honor my friend who I have literally known since I was a baby. I understand that I either need to compromise or end the relationship, maybe my girlfriend just isn't fit for me. I don't plan on ending the tradition. My friend was like a sister to me. It feels like I am being criticized for memorializing my sister. Redditor 2 not native in English, but I try. I kinda understand her. Your GF feel like she is in Julia's shadow. She is supposed to be your life partner, but you keep holding on to someone she can't compete with. She is gone and you have made it clear no one can take her place. And to GF that tells her that she will never be the one. You have all the right to hold on to Julia. But your GF have all the right to be bothered by it. Emotions works like that. Ready to follow up, what might really tell his GF that she will never be the one is the fact that he's already worried about this affecting future relationships. I wonder if the tattoo thing is just compounding other issues indicators that make GF feel like isn't so special to him. Ready to 3, oh dude, I feel for you but come on now. You're not going to find many people, male or female, who are okay with their partner getting frequent tattoos with romantic undertones for other people. I know you don't see them as romantic, but really, you have her name in a heart. You're the reason I won't want the world to end. From the ground we look like lightning. Like if you're still grieving, or just choosing not to see it, but those are very big proclamations of love. And it's hard to differentiate between platonic familial romantic love when it's just words printed on your body. It gets especially confusing since you mention it's something you keep doing to this day, for Julia. I won't go so far as to say you're doing something wrong, but you should definitely think about how the memory of Julia is influencing your current relationships. Are you only honoring her memory, or are you doing this? as a sort of coping mechanism. Are these tattoos really for Julia, or are they for you? Why do you feel the need to keep getting more? If your GF, or any future GF expressed discomfort and asked you to stop, would you? These are questions you need to ask yourself, since these tattoos seem to be taking up a larger and larger part of your life. Ready to follow up, this. Op I'm sorry about your loss. But it's about how it looks, and to me it's worse when you actually explain it. The lyrics make you sound depressed, stuck and suicidal. Like you spent money on all these tattoos but no therapy. Are you going to get a new tattoo every time a new album song comes out, to honor Julia? A tattoo in memory of someone makes sense, but the fact that you have multiple, comes off a bit obsessive since Julia was just a friend. The art of letting go. Update, my girlfriend 24F is upset that I 25 meters have tattoos of my female friend. I know this sub doesn't like people posting updates but I have received such a response. Even as I type this I'm getting notification every minute. Firstly just want to thank everyone for the responses. I want to clear up a misconception. I am not a constantly mournful person that thinks about dead friends and suicide all the time. 
The Wonder Years do make music that is mainly about losing friends but it is cathartic. I have tattoos for Julia, dead family members, and my other close friend that overdosed in high school. But I'm a not just living in the past all the time. I get a tattoo when TWY drop an album which isn't often. Since their passing they have dropped two albums and they've been making music since I was like 13. They even said this could be the last album. I don't have a body full of lyrics. I have my male friend who overdosed tattooed on me with his name in a heart as well. I have a similar lyric tradition with him, but a different band. My girlfriend is very understanding and great. I love her to death and this isn't how she usually reacts to things. My friends and these tattoos are very important to me. I got my first TWY tattoo with Julia in 2015 when we had just graduated high school. We both got we're no saviors if we can't save our brothers so getting a new tattoo whenever they drop is important to me. I was going to stand my ground on that. Julia was my best friend and sister. Our families are close even to this day. I go to her parents' house and go their family events frequently and I am like a son. We were literally in the crib together as babies there was no romance. My girlfriend told me that she had been cheated on or didn't know information in past relationships so this was a sore spot for her. She didn't really know about Julia. She knew I had lost friends but I don't live in the past and talk about people who die all the time. My back and arms are full of tattoos and I have a bunch on my chest too so I haven't told her the meaning behind every tattoo. She noticed I got the or the reason I don't want the world to end newly tattooed and asked me about it and that started this. I think that if I had told her earlier on about my tattoo tradition with lyrics she would have understood but just that tattoo for another women with no context. I completely get why she was upset. I told her that I understand how it looks but Julia was my best friend. I see comments about her being in competition. To me that's like if I had a sister and someone said that my GF was in competition with my sister just sounds ducking weird to me. So many offensive lol you walk around with a dead girl on your arm when in the post I talk about how I have the same tradition with a male friend but that isn't considered weird. It's crazy that male and female friendships are not seen as equal. If she had a dead male friend that was memorialized with tattoos or in her own way I wouldn't care. But I am biased because I've lost many friends. When my good friend overdosed in high school Julia got his name in a heart tattooed on her as well. Anyway I've been talking to her and telling her that I understand how she feels. But this is something I have to stand my ground on. Tattoos are just a thing I get too. When I got my first car, Someone broke into my car once and stole the spare change I had in my center console and I got a tattoo of a broken window. It's just fun to me. My GF called me like an hour ago and told me that she listened to the latest album from the Wonder Years and that it made her cry completely. She also listened to the songs from previous albums that I have tattooed on me. She just told me I get it. The few fans of TWY that found my post got it. If you listen to that band they have so so very few romantic songs. Most of their songs are about friends dying or just being anxious about the future and bad things happening. My favorite line from them is you start remembering the anniversaries of bad things. My GF is not into emo alt culture but she listened to the album that they just put out. She said after one song she was crying and that when she heard the context of you're the reason I don't want the world to end she realized how unromantic it is and how it makes sense. She was at work and on break but we spent time talking about things I don't talk about. I told her about Julia, and some other dark experiences and other losses I've had growing up. 
we have a good and healthy relationship. This experience taught me that it's better if I was more open to the people close to me. If she knew more about Julia this wouldn't have been a problem. From her perspective it's just an old friend that passed that I have tattooed in a heart. But when I explained it more she understood. So that it is my fault for not explaining Julia well to her. When she asked early on in the relationship I just said my best friend that died. I guess in avoiding trying to be the downer guy I left a lot up to her own interpretation. I also explained to her my other tattoos for my other friend with lyrics and he is one I hardly talk about. Julia was like my sister and her life was suddenly cut off so it's nice to talk about the past. With my friend that overdosed, he'd struggled with sobriety since like age 10. In and out of rehabs and would be found passed out somewhere miles from home. His life was hard so I rarely ever talk about him. He was the friend you always knew would die someday but it opened up dialogue and she's more understanding now. I explained the LGFUAD let's get ducked up and die, the future freaks me out, and I like the universe tattoos to that I have in his memory as well. Things are better. We were already close but it feels like this was something that needed to happen someday anyway. I don't appreciate the comments calling the girlfriend harsh names. A lot of comments also seemed very insensitive. From childhood to now I've probably lost half of my friends from overdose accident suicide and I don't have all of them tattooed. A lot of replies felt like yeah you've had traumatic loss but lol remove the tattoos who cares. Things are better and I think this experience is overall good for our relationship. I feel more open than I have ever been. Edit also the lyric tattoos are based on lyrics they liked I thought they'd like the most. Not what makes me think of them the most. I'm not getting let's get ducked up and die going like this was our friendship. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1. I know this sub doesn't like people posting updates but I have received such a response. I don't know where you got that from. We love updates here. Especially positive ones. Redditor 2, I thought a lot of the responses in the other thread were kinda ducked up, glad you were going to stick your ground either way, but even more glad that it worked for everyone involved. Your friends were lucky to have someone who cared about them so much and continue to keep their memories going. Redditor 3, is this like? A very elaborate weird. Cringe. Advertising campaign for the wonder years. Redditor follow up, once his GF listened to the album and says I get it that's where they lost me. Then doubling down saying people in the last post who listened to TWY got it too like what? Feels like a giant advertisement.